Hi everyone, welcome to the continent of Africa. This is a brief explanation of the following items on each of the country measured on this channel. The geography, the culture, the languages, climate, tourism, some of the emblematic places of interest and the diversity of the ethnic groups living in harmony in one country. I wish you will broaden your knowledge by listening to the video. I believe that joining effort will make it possible to improve the cross-cultural understanding and global awareness among the nations in order to develop perception and inclusion of the strange. I thank you so much for your time and interest. Welcome to Egypt. Here goes the geography. Egypt located in northeastern Africa with a small portion of its territory stretching across the Isthmus of Suez into southwestern Asia. Egypt has coastline along the Mediterranean Sea in the north with the Gulf of Suez, the Gulf of Aqaba and the Red Sea to the west. Egypt is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, the Gaza Strip and Israel to the northeast the Red Sea to the east, Sudan to the south, and Libya to the west. Egypt covers an area of 1,010,407 square kilometers, with a population of 88,487,396 inhabitants. That's the July 2015 census estimate. Cairo is the largest and the capital city of Egypt. Cairo is located near Nile Delta and was founded in 969 AD. The revolution of 1952 led to the declaration of the Egyptian Republic the following year. However, in 1958, Egypt joined Syria to become the United Arab Republic and was part of the United Arab State with not Yemen. The union ended with Syria's succession in 1961. Egypt was the focus of widespread revolts in January 2011 in protest of Mubarak's rule. However, a new constitution was put in place in early 2014. However, I have selected in random the ethnic groups with higher population and the languages widely spoken among the nation. The Egypt population is mainly dense in and around the Nile Basin. The fertile river plains have always attracted people to settle down in this region. Thus, the population of Egypt comprises immigrants as well as the local inhabitants. People of Egypt comprise different ethnic groups. The nationality of the people of the country is Egyptian. They comprise of 98% of the total population. Bedouin, Nubian, and Beja cover only 1% among the population. The rest of the 1% of population is comprised of the Europeans, mainly of French and Italian origin. Armenians and Greeks also form part of the population. Egypt is one of the most populated countries, not only 
in the African continent, but also in the Middle East and in the Arab world. The population mainly settled near the River Nile. Egypt has been a center of ancient civilization of the world. Languages. The official language is Arabic. English and French are spoken by the majority of the population, especially in government administration and commercial sectors. And on the other hand, it might be of interest to know some of the emblematic places for cultural and tourism purposes. Egyptian culture. Much has been written, read, debated, and discussed about the rich culture of Egypt. And yet, the Egyptian culture has remained as intriguing, intriguing as enigmatic as it was thousands of years ago, guaranteeing an ever-increasing arrival of tourists and visitors to the country. Perhaps it has to do with the richness, the treasures, the scientific advancement, the magic and the colossal architecture. Whatever the reason, Egypt and Egyptian culture holds the attention of the world at large. Architecture of ancient Egypt. Egypt is perhaps best known for its ancient architectural marvels. Think Egypt and the world pyramids immediately pops into our minds. The thought that these structures were planned and built to perfection over 5,000 years ago, when modern engineering is we are unknown, is simply too marvelous. Ancient Egyptian architecture has shown in the marvelous temples, tombs, palaces, and obelisks comprises a study in geometric precision and colossal construction. The use of stone characterizes ancient Egyptian architecture. Limestone and granite were used extensively. Once the basic structure was constructed, carving and decoration of the walls was initiated. The construction of tombs and pyramids often lasted throughout the reign of the Pharaoh. Priests were also part of the teams that were formed for construction, since they were responsible for casting propitiation spells and overseeing the carbon and painting of the walls. Pyramids are the best known icons that represent Egypt and Egyptian culture worldwide, which attract hundreds of thousands of visitors every year. The Pyramid of Pharaoh, Khufu, is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Climate. In Egypt, the days are hot and the nights are cool and pleasant. This African country, famous worldwide as the land of antiquities, has two prominent seasons, hot summer and mild winter. The hot summer season lasts from the month of May to October while the winter continues from November to April. The difference between these two seasons can be marked only by changes in prevailing winds and cyclic temperature variations. In the maritime regions, the Egypt weather is like the minimum average temperature during winter it records 14 degrees centigrade, 
while the maximum average temperature during summer records 30 degrees centigrade. There are major fluctuations in the inland arid regions, particularly during summer when the temperature may vary from 43 degrees centigrade during the day to 7 degrees centigrade at night. During the winter time, the temperature may range from 18 degrees centigrade during the day to even 0 degrees centigrade at night. The average annual temperature is more in the southern part of Egypt and some northern regions like like Alexandria and others are much cooler. Sometimes during winter, the Nile Valley and the Delta even experience frost and snowfalls. Most regions in Egypt receive an annual rainfall of 80 millimeters or less. Usually, the coastal regions receive more rainfall. Rainfall decreases in the southern parts of Egypt and some areas even receive no rainfall for years. Sometimes sporadic rainfall occurs and results in flash floods. A silent feature about the Egypt weather is the hot spring wind that blows over the entire country. These winds are locally known as Sirocco and Kamsin and generally occur in the months of March, April and May. The winds carry a large quantity of dust and sand, which resulting in sandstorms blowing strongly. These erratic winds and sandstorms may even persist for several days, thus disrupting regular life and damaging crops and properties. Tourism Tourism is one of the most important sectors in Egypt's economy. The Giza necropolis is Egypt's most iconic site. It is also Egypt's most popular tourist destination since antiquity and was popularized in Hellenistic times when the Great Pyramid was listed by Antipater of Sidon as one of the seven wonders of the world. Today, it is the only one of those wonders still in existence. Pyramids are the best known icons that represent Egypt and Egyptian culture worldwide. Think Egypt and the word pyramids immediately pops into our minds. Egypt has a wide range of beaches situated on the Mediterranean and the Red Sea that extend to over 3,000 kilometers. The Red Sea has serene waters, colored coral reefs, rare fish, and beautiful mountains. The Akbar Gulf beaches also provide facilities for practicing sea sports. Safaria tops the Red Sea zone with its beautiful location on the Suez Gulf. Last but not least, Sam El Sheikh, or City of Peace. Hugada, Luzor, known as world's greatest open air museum, or city of the one third of world monuments. Dahav, Rasid, Masa, Alam, Safaga, and the northern coast of the Mirage. Mediterranean are major tourist destinations of the recreational tourism. With a lot of touristic activities in Egypt, it's considered a fun place for historical, religious, medical, and entertainment tourism. 
tourists on a travel to the exotic land of pyramids in Africa can choose to stay either in the luxury hotels or in budget hotels or even in the resorts. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the continent of Africa. This is a brief explanation of the following items on each of the country measured on this channel. The geography, the culture, the languages, climate, tourism, some of the emblematic places of interest and the diversity of the ethnic groups living in harmony in one country. I wish you will broaden your knowledge by listening to the video. I believe that joining effort will make it possible to improve the cross-cultural understanding and global awareness among the nations in order to develop perception and inclusion of this strange. I thank you so much for your time and interest. Welcome to Ethiopia. Here goes the geography. Ethiopia, officially known as the Federal Demo Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, is a sovereign state located in the Horn of Africa. It shares a border with Eritrea to the north and northeast, Djibouti and Somalia to the east, Sudan and South Sudan to the west, and Kenya to the south, with a population of about 100 million inhabitants. Ethiopia is the most populous landlocked country in the world, as well as the second most populous nation on the African continent after Nigeria. It occupies a total area of 1,104,300 square kilometers, and its capital and largest city is Addis Ababa. However, I have selected in random the ethnic groups with higher population and the languages widely spoken among the nations. Ethiopia's population is highly diverse, containing over 80 different ethnic groups. The list of ethnic groups in Ethiopia that are officially recognized by the government taken from the 2007 Ethiopian National Census include Oromo, Somali, Amhara, Tigray, Sidama, Guraj, Wileta, Hadiya, and Afar. The country also has Omotic ethnic minorities, Nilotic ethnic minorities, who inhabit the southwestern regions of the country, particularly in the Gabela region. Among these are the Nuwe and Anwak, who are also found in South Sudan, which borders the Gambela region, and many other ethnic minorities that live in the country. Languages. According to ethnology, According to ethnology, there are 90 individual languages spoken in Ethiopia. Most people in the country speak Afro-Asiatic languages of the Cusitic or Semitic branches. The former includes Oromifa, spoken by the Oromo people, and Somali, spoken by the Somalis. The latter includes Amharic spoken by the Amhara and Tagriya, spoken by the Tagrayans. Together, these four groups make up about three quarters of Ethiopians' population. Other Afro-Asiatic languages with a significant number of speakers include the 
Cusitic as well as the Semitic languages. Additionally, Omotic languages are spoken by Omotic ethnic minority groups inhabiting the southern regions. Languages from the Nilo Saharan family are also spoken by ethnic minority concentrated in the southwestern part of the country. English is the most widely spoken foreign language and is the medium of instruction in secondary schools, while all languages enjoy equal state recognition in the 1995 Constitution of Ethiopia. Amharic is recognized as the official working language of the federal government. The various regions of Ethiopia are free to determine their own wo working languages with Oromifa, Somali, and Tigrinya recognized as official working languages in their respective regions. And on the other hand, it might be of interest to know some of the emblematic places for cultural and tourism purposes. The culture. Ethiopians have a different naming system to the family name based on Western system. Children are the given names of their father and paternal grandfather consecutively to their own given name. For compatibility purposes, as is done in passports, the grandfather's given name is taken as a family surname, and a person's given name and his or her father's given name from the first name. Ethiopia has several local calendars. The most widely known is the Ethiopian calendar, also known as the guest calendar. It is based on the older Alexandria or Coptic calendar, which in turn drives from the e Egyptian calendar, like the Coptic calendar. The Ethiopian calendar has 12 months of exactly 30 days, each plus five or six epagomenal days. These epagomenal days, which comprise a 13th th month, the Ethiopian months begin on the same days as those of the Coptic calendar, but their names are in Gez. Time in Ethiopia is counted differently from many Western countries. The Ethiopian day is reckoned as beginning at 6 a.m. as opposed to 12 a.m. concurrently with sunrise throughout the year. To convert between the Ethiopian clock and Western clock, one must add or subtract six hours to the Western time. The music of Ethiopia is extremely diverse, with each of the country's 80 ethnic groups being associated with the unique sounds. Ethiopian music uses a distinct modal system that is pentatonic, with characteristically long intervals between some notes, as with many other aspects of Ethiopian culture and tradition. Taste in music and lyrics are strongly linked with those in neighboring Eritrea, Somalia, Djibouti, and Sudan. The climate. The predominant climate type is tropical monsoon with wide topographic induced variation. The Ethiopian highlands cover most of the country and have a climate which is generally considerably cooler than other regions at similar proximity to the equator. The modern capital, Addis Ababa, is situated on the foothills of Mount Entoto at an elevation of around 2,400 meters. 
it experiences a mild climate year round with temperatures fairly uniform year round. The seasons in Addis Ababa are largely defined by rainfall, a dry season from October to February, a light rainy season from March to May, and a heavy rainy season from June to September. The average annual rainfall is approximately 1,200 millimeters. There are on average seven hours of sunshine per day. The dry season is the sun, sunniest time of the year, though even at the height of the rainy season in July and August, there are still usually several hours per day of bright sunshine. The average annual temperature in Addis Ababa is between 16 degrees centigrade with a daily maximum temperature averaging 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. Throughout the year, an overnight lows averaging 5 to 10 degrees centigrade. In less elevated regions, particularly the lower lying Ethiopian Zerbi grasslands and shrublands in the east of the country. The climate can be significantly hotter and drier. Tourism. Tourism in Ethiopia accounted for 5.5% of the country's gross domestic product, GDP, in 2006, with the hope of increasing in the future. The government is proving its commitment and willingness to develop tourism through a number of initiatives. Tourism is a featured component of Ethiopia's Poverty Reduction Strategy Paper, PRSP, which aims to combat poverty and encourage economic development, uh, economic in de uh, development. Tourism destinations include Ethiopia's collection of national parks, including Semyen Mountain National Park and historic sites. Tourism declined greatly during the late 1970s and the 1980s under the Delge. Recovery began in the 1990s, but growth has been constrained by the lack of suitable hotels and other infrastructure. Despite a boom in the construction of small and medium-sized hotels and restaurants and by the effects of drought and political instability, one encouraging aspect is the growing popularity of ecotourism with significant potential for growth in Ethiopia. Travel retail sales are expected to continue to grow. Sales are driven primarily by expanding interest in ecotourism packages, including adventure travel, trekking, and walking safaris that are making up much of the tour operators' revenue. Hi everyone, welcome to the continent of Africa. This is a brief explanation of the following items on each of the country measured on this channel. The geography, the culture, the languages, climate, tourism, some of the emblematic places of interest and the diversity of the ethnic groups living in harmony in one country. I wish you will broaden your knowledge by listening to the video. I believe that joining effort will make it possible to improve the cross-cultural understanding and global awareness among the nations in order to develop perception and inclusion of the strange. I thank you so much for your time and interest. 
Welcome to Burkina Faso. Here goes the geography. Burkina Faso, formerly known as Upper Volta, is a landlocked country in West Africa with a population of 16.93 million inhabitants with an area of 274,200 square kilometers. The country consists of extensive plains, low hills, high savannas, and a desert area in the north. It borders Mali in the west and north, Niger in the northeast, Benin in the southeast, and Togo, Ghana, and Cote d'Ivoire in the south. Ouagadougou is the capital and the largest city. On August 5, 1960, Upper Volta achieved full independence. The President Sankara changed the name of the country in 1984 to Burkina Faso, which combines two of the nation's languages and means the land of upright men. However, I have selected in random the ethnic groups with higher population and the languages widely spoken among the nation. The majority of Burkina Faso's ethnic groups constitute of 50, who mostly live in rural areas. The principal group is the Mossi, who account for almost half of the total population. Others include the Lobi, Bobo, and Gurunsi, all of whose members speak a Voltaic language. Fulani, Mandi, and Senefu also constitute sizable minorities. French is the country's official language, and Oyula is spoken in commercial circles. And on the other hand, it might be of interest to know some of the emblematic places for cultural and tourism purposes. Probably, the thing Burkina Faso is most famous for is its music and drumming culture. What a great country to visit if you are interested in learning West African drumming. As with music, art is also part of the culture of Burkina Faso. The country hosts the International Arts and Crafts Fair in Ouagadougou better known by its French name as Siao, S-I-A-O. One of the most important African handicraft fairs in the world. The climate. Burkina Faso has a primarily tropical climate with two very distinct seasons. The rainy season ranges between 24 to 35 inches of rainfall and the dry season during which the hamatam blows a hot dry wind from the Sahara. The rainy season lasts approximately four months from mid-May to mid-September and is shorter in the north of the country. Tourism. There are many types of transportation for getting around Burkina Faso, such as cars, buses, and minivans. There is also train service connecting the major cities. Getting around by bus in any developing country is sometimes distressing but often rewarding mode of transport. 
for it is one of the main thing that where you will intermix and experience the locals of the land you are traveling in. Burkina is an excellent destination for anyone interested in seeing beautiful West African country and exploring African culture and music. Hi everyone! Welcome to the continent of Africa. This is a brief explanation of the following items on each of the country measured on this channel. The geography, the culture, the languages, climate, tourism, some of the emblematic places of interest, and the diversity of the ethnic groups living in harmony in one country. I wish you will broaden your knowledge by listening to the video. I believe that joining effort will make it possible to improve the cross-cultural understanding and global awareness among the nations in order to develop perception and inclusion of the strange. I thank you so much for your time and interest. Welcome to Gabon. Here goes the geography. Gabon, officially the Gabonese Republic, is a sovereign state on the west coast of Central Africa, located on the equator. Gabon is bordered by Equatorial Guinea to the northwest. Cameroon to the north, the Republic of the Congo on the east and south, and the Gulf of Guinea to the west. It has an area of nearly 270,000 square kilometers, with a population of about 1.5 million inhabitants. Considered to be one of the African countries with lowest population. Its capital and largest city is Libreville. It gained independence from France in 1960. In the early 1990s, Gabon introduced a multi party system and a new democratic constitution that allowed for a more transparent electoral process and reformed many governmental institutions. However, I have selected in random the ethnic group with higher population and languages widely spoken among the nation. Almost all Gabonese are of Bantu origin. Gabon has at least 40 ethnic groups with differing languages and cultures. The Fang are generally thought to be the largest, second to the Nezebi. Others include the Miner. Kota, Shira, Puru, and Kande. Ethnic boundaries are less sharply drawn in Gabon than elsewhere in Africa. There are also various Pygmy people, the Bongo, Kota, and Baka. The latter speak the only known Bantu language in Gabon. Most ethnicities are spread throughout Gabon, leading to constant contact and interaction among the groups. Intermarriage between the ethnicities is quite common, helping reduce ethnic tensions. French, the language of its former colonial ruler, is a unifying force. 
the Democratic Party of Gabon, historically domin dominant, also has served to unite various ethnicities and local interests into a larger into a larger whole more than 11,000 native French that live in Gabon, including an estimated 3,000 dual nationals. Languages. It is estimated that about 80% of Gabon's population can speak French, and that 25% of Libreville residents are native speakers of the language. Normally, a large number of the Gabonese people speak the Fang language as a mother tongue. In October 2012, just before the 14th summit of the International Organization of the Francophone, the country declared an intention to add English as a second of its language for practical reasons, but was rejected by the government. The climate. Gabon has the most hot climate typical of tropical regions. The hottest month is January with an average height at Libreville of 31 degrees centigrade and an average low of 23 degrees centigrade. Average July temperature in the capital range between 20 and 28 degrees centigrade. From June to September, there is virtually no rain but high humidity. There is occasional rain in December and January. During the remaining months, rainfall is heavy. The excessive rainfall is caused by the condensation of most air resulting from the meeting directly off the coast of the cold Bengala current from the south and the warm Guinea current from the north. And on, on the other hand, it might be of interest to know some of the emblematic places for cultural and tourism purposes. The culture, a country with a primary oral tradition up until the spread of literacy in the 21st century. Gabon is rich in folklore and mythology. Raconteur are currently working to keep traditions alive, such as the Mebet among the Fangs and the Iwala among the Nizebis. Gabon also features internationally celebrated masks, such as the Ngoltang, that's from the Fang, and the casket figures of the Kota. Each group has its own set of masks used for various reasons. They are mostly used in traditional ceremonies such as marriage, birth, and funerals. Traditionalists mainly work with rare local woods and other precious materials. Gabonese music is lesser known. The country boasts a collection of folk styles, as well as imported rock and hip hop from the US and UK which are popular in Gabon, among a rumba, makosa, and sokus. Gabonese folk instruments include the obala, the gombi, balafon, and traditional drums. Tourism. Gabon's tourist industry is underdeveloped. 
Despite these, attractions include beaches, ocean and inland fishing facilities, the falls on the Ogowe River and the Crystal Mountain. Hunting is legal in specific areas from December to September. Until recently, tourism has been neglected replaced by the export of raw material such as oil and wood. In 2000, however, the Gabonese government worked on developing the sector by developing luxury and rich tourism and the niche tourism such as booth expedition or safari trips. On September 4, 2002, Gabonese President Omar Bongo announced that his country would set aside 10% of its land for a national park system. Previously, it had no organization of national parks, working with the Wildlife Conservation Society on conservation issues. Currently, the season comprises over 10,000 square miles. These new parks are being developed for ecotourism as an economic alternative to exploiting Gabon's forests for lumber. Gabon's 13 national parks range from regions along its coastline, where hippopotamus play on untouched beaches to forest clearings home to native gorillas. Hi everyone, welcome to the continent of Africa. This is a brief explanation of the following items on each of the country measured on this channel. The geography, the culture, the languages, climate, tourism, some of the emblematic places of interest, and the diversity of the ethnic groups living in harmony in one country. I wish you will broaden your knowledge by listening to the video. I believe that joining effort will make it possible to improve the cross-cultural understanding and global awareness among the nations in order to develop perception and inclusion of the strange. I thank you so much for your time and interest. Welcome to Equatorial Guinea. Here goes the geography. The Republic of Equatorial Guinea is located in West Central Africa with an area of 28,000 square kilometers. It was formerly Spanish Guinea on the western coast of Africa, formerly called Fernando Po, and several islands in the Gulf of Guinea, the largest of which is Bioko. The other islands are Anobon, Corisco, Elobe Grande, and Elobe Chico, with a population of 722,254 inhabitants. That's the 2014 census estimate. The capital and largest city is Malabo. Equatorial Guinea's land boundaries total 528 kilometers. It borders Cameroon in the north and Gabon in the east and south. Spanish Guinea, as it was then called, gained independence from Spain on October 12, 1968. It is Africa's only Spanish-speaking country. The ethnic groups have selected the ethnic group with higher population and the languages widely spoken among the nation. 
the majority of the people of Equatorial Guinea are of Bantu origin. The largest tribe, the Fang, is indigenous to the mainland, but substantial migration to Bioko Island has resulted in Fang dominance over the earlier Bubi inhabitants. The Fang constitute 80% of the population and are divided into 67 clans. The Bobi, who constitute 15% of the population, are indigenous to Bioko Island. In addition, the Acosta tribes collectively refer to as Ndowe or Playeros, that's the beach people in Spanish. On Bioko, these groups compose 5% of the population. Two small groups of pygmies also inhabit the country. The Beyele and the Bokin, their population is dwelling and have been subjected to heavy pressure from their neighbors who don't even consider them as human. Some Europeans, largely of Spanish or Portuguese descent, among them mixed with African ethnicity, also live in the nation. Equatorial Guinea received Asians and Black Africans from neighboring countries as workers on cocoa and coffee plantations, and Asians are mostly Chinese with small numbers of Indians. Equatorial Guinea also allowed many fortune-seeking European settlers of other nationalities. Languages, Spanish, French, and Portuguese are the official languages and spoken as second languages. Spanish is the language of education, and for this reason, a majority of the population, about 88%, can speak it, though only about 10 to 15% have a high competence in the language. Anobones speak a Portuguese Creole named Anobones as their first language. Asians and other Europeans speak their own languages. Foreign Africans speak their native languages and their nation's official languages. English and Igbo for Nigerians, English for Cameroonians and Liberians. French for Cameroonians and Gabonese, and Portuguese for Angolans and Mozambicans. The latter was made an official language since July 13, 2007. 82% of first foreign language learners choose the French language and 18% the English language. Equatorians tend to have both a Spanish first name and an African first and last name. When written, the Spanish and African first names are followed by the father's first name, which becomes the principal surname and the mother's first name. Thus, people may have up to four names with a different surname for each generation. The culture. On the other hand, it might be of interest to know some of the emblematic places for cultural and tourism purposes. Equatorial Guinea has a rich and diverse culture. Migration from the 18th century onwards have led to cultural diversity that is reflected in the country's music, arts, and language. Equatorial Guinea retains the European influence in its architecture and multiracial languages. However, indigenous languages and beliefs still have a role in modern life, particularly for ethnic groups. 
Aboriginal languages such as Fang, Bodhi, Enga, Ndowe, and others are seen as an integral part of the national culture that must be preserved. Many equatorial Guineans take part in Asian customs within their communities, including music, art, and storytelling. Climate the climate of both the continental region and the island is typically equatorial, with high temperatures, heavy rainfall, and much cloud cover most of the year. Local variations are due to differences in altitude and proximity to the sea. The wet seasons in the continental region are from February to June and from September to December. Rainfall is higher on the coast than in the inland. Natural hazards is the violent windstorms, flash floods. Tourism Equatorial Guinea has two of the deepest Atlantic seaports of the region, including the main business and commercial port city of Bata and Malabo. There are both air and sea connections between the two cities of Malabo and Bata. A few aging Soviet-built aircraft operated by several small carriers one state-owned and the others private constitute the national aircraft fleet. There are international connections out of Malabo to Madrid and Zurich in Europe and to Cotonou, Douala and Libreville, Libreville in West Africa. Infrastructure is generally old and in poor condition. Surface transport is extremely limited at present, though road maintenance is on the way. The African Development Bank is helping to improve the paved roads from Malabo to Luba and Riava. The Chinese are undertaking a project to link Mongomo to Bata on the mainland, and the European Union is financing an interstate road network linking Equatorial Guinea to Cameroon and Gabon.